refined, tightened, remixed, and well made for all of you. Apologies for interrupting, but tonight's event will now begin. My friends. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex. And one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. Welcome to the Rendezvous, our point of contact to narrative domains. You've been invited to a story, the story of the pilot. You are welcome to stream and or record tonight's event of the pilot. But your will, your consciousness is at the mercy of what happens after. You will have to work with together with your friends to discover the true ending of this story. If you're clever, it can be achieved sooner than you think. But above all else, my friends, I implore you, kindly, have fun, rejoice, and converse with your friends during the tour. This is an event to remember. This is an event that will remain among legends. This is the story of the pilot. A story which is yet to be made real. My friends, I will now drop an invite plus portal to the world of the pilot. Please, at this time, make sure you are friends with someone else here in case you need to disconnect and be invited back in. You are welcome to add us tour guides. Trajim, Rendizo, standing next to me, or myself, to assist you with this. Now, enough talk. The ether is thick tonight, and the portal will now open. My friends, just a moment. Mm. Yep. Goosebumps. The portal is stabilizing. There it is. It's ready. My friends, <laughs> enter. <laughs> 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 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm in with these stories. Oh, oh, such an evil survive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't supposed uh, to be uh, here. What is this? Yeah. Oh, oh, is is here. oh god. Oh that's god, fine. wait, that's moving. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry about it. How dare you react to what is it? I think you pissed it off. Good job. Geo. Uh, what? <laughs> Check insider. There you go. Hey, idiot. So this is the uh, the oh. world. It's a story-based world. Oh. So once everyone gets here, uh, so we're gonna start this too. The story. <laughs> All right. I have no. um. I've been listening to the story for a while, but it's gonna be fun to say the least. It's gonna be fun. I think I Mario muted a game. Yes, yes. So much fun. Wait, so you you use the world. Make sure you get your world. Yeah. I've yeah, seen new. You <laughs> <find out. laughs> Just uh, explain what this was. It's interesting. Oh, yeah, make sure your world music is on. The world music is the best part. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, if you didn't touch anything, it should be. So I think you're getting poked by a guy. What was that? I think you're getting poked by a guy. What's going on? You poking me? What's up? You, you poking me? You nah, poking dude. me? You poking me? Nah, he's making a bullshit, man. Are you, are you po oh, come on! Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that pun basically hurt me. Yeah, that ain't a good add on the test. That's time for the quick bits. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Joke ever, and I don't believe that. The pun is good if it's a good pun. You can have bad puns and good puns. Puns are never good. Okay, that makes sense. Can you not? Can you not? Come on, people say I'm a little high five. Okay, I think that might be my hand. Oh, you got a guitar now. Yeah. No, I... You're in for some real punishment. The old time's weird. I think I was about to say that. I was saying, hold on, I guess you hit it. Hold on. I told him to lose my balance and fall in. Yeah, you got it. Is that Guitar Hero? That's the Guitar Hero. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, it's Guitar Hero. Oh, shit. Whether it was with the best intention, it was malicious. Shred it. No. Yo, y'all remember Guitar Hero, the, the guy with like the, like the, the hat, I think he's a Guitar Hero like 3, and he came in and everyone was like, like, oh man, it's that guy. Time. Remember him? Slash? Slash. No, I don't remember Slash. that. Slash. Slash. What was that for? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, Slash was there's another shit. one of you over there. Hello, oh, oh, man. This is gonna be Guitar my first Hero. tour in uh, VR. How dare. Yeah. yeah. Have that. <laughs> I didn't know you made dad jokes. Speaking of being a dad, you should cut your hair. No. But it, I tried it. I tried it. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what are you implying? What are you implying? <laughs> There's no drums. It's just guitar. <laughs> You literally strap a guitar. Uh, a, I didn't imply anything. I told you to cut your hair. So that way you can uh, track it in VR. That, and that instead is, of like yeah, following a strict path, speaking of dads, what does it have to do with dads? With your bandmates. No, I mean, Chayden's kind of like the dad of the VR traveler group. Sometimes, Gio, the role of a parent is to tell their child when they look like a. Well, when their looks need improvement. And just go forward and on stage. Uh -huh. It was awesome. Ah, <laughs> 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 guess I'll die. <laughs> the child of a parent is always their child, no matter how old they are. Dick. Like another remake. Let me get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Oh, what evidence? He said, guess I'll die. So, in other words, he committed suicide. So, <laughs> this happens a lot. Don't worry. I, I die a lot. But don't worry, I always come back to life. Yeah, See? He does, yeah, I'm fine. He does have video yeah. game logic. He's got plenty of lines. He farmed for also, also, everyone seems. Every, also, every time I die, everyone seems to grab my parts and sell them on eBay. And no one ever gives me the cut. It's tradition. <laughs> I mean, I, I just want my money. That's better. So, 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 so basically, the first part is story. Well, maybe do something that uh, that makes you, you deserving of this. This is yeah. This is like a little bit. Like, uh, it, more than that. Huh. We're gathering Actually, everyone and why haven't you just started scripts, selling your own parts? I, I guess that's what they do. Because he needs some of them. Huh? Yes. I'm gonna wait for it to load on.
I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 first time you've been through yep. this, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the economy 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 twice. Oh, great. From here. I think we're going to flood the geo parts economy. The machine is peaking. Uh, we're talking about robot organ harvesting. The box is talking. Bye. Don't call him a box. <laughs> Four. <laughs> three. Two. One. For those of you that called me a box, I'll have you know that you are welcome to call me a box. No worries at all. And hello back to you. Nice to meet you. My friend. Friends, the story is about to begin. Everyone, this is a story-based tour. And as any such tour in the real world, I politely ask we can hear you typing. that you remain silent during narration. However, you are welcome to talk while we walk from place to place. You are welcome to laugh with each other, discuss strategies, and scream, or cry, or fight, as you will. However, while narration is decurring, kindly remain silent. Decurring. Yes, decurring. That's a word that exists in a different timeline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun here. We have fun here, and we make mistakes, and we cover them up with lies. My friends, the tour will oh now begin. <laughs> Always have to now be dark. Then, everyone, click the yellow save point. We're all professionals hmm. here. I'm wondering if Are I can actually done? fit in it. Are we professionals? Oops, I'm sorry. You probably need a duck. We are. Yeah, hey, professionally we unprofessional. We are, except for mine. Yes. You know what? That's, I'll take that. I'm trying to get it so I can walk all the way. I'm just gonna hit the anniversary room because I knew it was Metal Sonic. I don't know how it would be. It would be weird. And now, without further ado, the story begins. Oh yeah, my friends, if you are experiencing delay, go to your safety performance menu under the advanced graphics and lower your quality to multi-sample anti-aliasing. You will see. Lower to the lowest possible setting. All right, the story begins. Between the forest and the countryside, there sits a lone house. And in this house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out of her bedroom window, and her imagination soars. She wonders about the faraway, exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes, and she can see them. Beautiful cities, filled with waterfalls and white birds. Majestic mountains capped by clouds so soft, one could fall asleep on them. She wonders and she wonders until the sun sets and the crickets fill the air. In her mind, the scene shifts to the front door. She pictures her father finally coming home. She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. Her heart flutters as she opens her eyes expectantly. The sky is purple, and the path outside is empty. What? 
Oh, she was wrong. He hasn't come home. She shoves the curtains across and turns from the window. My friends, let's go inside and see if she's all right. This way. Still nice and roomy in here, but the way in, I, but... I see how it is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it doesn't make sense. I figure it's not. <laughs> I'm watching you. Push me off my edge like that. I was trying to drink. Ah, delicious penguin you for dinner. you pass salt? No. Oh. Don't I'm eat too Jake. salty right now. What did Jake do to you? My friends. Oh. The young girl <laughs> trudges a through the dark house. The kitchen is empty. Her mother has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind. Whisk of mist brushing by, the gentle rush of cool air in her ear, the deep thrum as she passes through clouds, the land far below her. Can you see it, travelers? Look down. Everything is cast in a radiant golden light. Then, the sky knocks. No, not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground, and she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is. He is finally home. She lets out a cry of joy and a bit of sadness. And her father picks her up and holds her tightly. Is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is deep and comforting like the clouds she flew through. Only when so long, her mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. I'll always come back, he says. He takes out a sealed bottle of capsules from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon... The house is filled with the warm glow from the fire, the sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast. And the little girl could not possibly be happy. Yeah. After dinner, the girl asks her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go together and listen to Father's story. This way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> so what the hell you find anything in there? So wait, what's the dolly doing? My goodness, Cell. 
You're a tomato. Yes, I am. I am soup. Wait, so... Wait, where's, where's the soup? Okay, I see soup. So, let me have soup. Mm. No. I want a picture. I need a picture of you. For the handbook. We must consume no soup. the soup. Yes, soup. Maybe soup. My friends. The young girl jumps into bed, and the father and mother sit either side of her. The father tells another story about the daughter's favorite hero. The pilot. Each time the father would revisit this story, the pilot would be on a new adventure, but each time a few themes remain the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with their legendary ship, and wherever they go, they meet new friends who need their help. The odds would always be stacked against them. But thanks to their trusty legendary ship, the pilot always saves the day. The girl remains awake till the very end. And then the father asks, as he does at the end of every story. So, why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. Because it's a good thing to do. The mother and father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, the girl asks if when she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to help people like the pilot. Of course, the father says. You'll be the greatest pilot, and, well, someday, you'll save the day too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for the daughter. My friends, let's go back downstairs and let her sleep this way. The mother and father sit together in the living room. She asks him if he did what he set out to do, and if he was tracked. He says the same thing he always says, of course not, he was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights, and is about to go into the tendency for military officers to turn a blind eye to a certain amount of excess cargo. When she stops him with a finger on the lips, she reminds him that she knows all of this already. He laughs and gets in one more detail. She will always know when anything is approaching thanks to the radar he stole. 
if a military vessel gets near, it will notify her. She nods, and she knows this already. So, they both decide that it's a topic for another time. Her husband is home again. She missed him dearly. And so, they go to bed. Uh -oh. The mother is woken suddenly. It's the father. He's talking about something on the radar, headed for the refugee camp. She rubs her eyes, confused. I have to go, says the father. I have to get them out. She doesn't understand. She pleads for him not to leave again, still not sure what exactly is happening. She suggests it's just a scout, or an error. No, the father says, and his voice frightens her. Look at the radar. The mother looks, and her heart drops. The signal is enormous. The largest airship she has ever seen and it is headed directly for the rebel camp off of the radar's edge that, that's she begins but her voice falters Yes, says the father. The dark monument airship. The last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Aquavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after. And to this day, nothing grows there. Hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns. It doesn't matter. Nobody is safe from this thing. Sending it there could... It could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were. Until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside dims, and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is a nightmare. Can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistance ships won't make it in time. Listen, I, I, I can outrun that. Abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out of there. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms and takes hold of her fingers. She's trembling. I was the same as them, a refugee on the run, remember? And then you, you rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's, it's a good thing to do. Reluctantly, the mother nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more, and the mother and daughter are left alone. Okay. 
a year has passed. The father has not returned, and the daughter has just turned six years old. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. Every night she waits by the radar, staring at the night sky. Tonight, her daughter is with her, and together they watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radio all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, turns off the radar. She holds her for a while and then puts her to bed. She promises that she will sleep on time and closes the door. The mother goes back to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. A loud voice screeches. Attention! Attention! This area is under martial law by order of the Grey. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She Shoot. changes her channels, but it's everywhere. She presses her hands against her ears, but the voice fills her mind. Then, she looks at the radar, and she sees it. It's already over the forest. The cursed ship is here. But why? No, she doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before a banging sound echoes from the ground floor. The sound of splintering wood terrifies them both. They run toward the outside balcony. Quickly! My friends! This way! <laughs> Let's go. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jump, jump over. Jump, jump. So that's where my napalm supplies went. This balcony ain't real cherry suspect. My napalm supplies. My napalm supplies. I'm a warmonger. I will crush you. For our monger, for Christ's sakes, you gotta make money somehow. You jump in that tree? Are you looking for a job? Those are illegal. We both know that. Jobs. Once, once Can't more, move. I'm a war monster. Okay. Here I go. War monster. Don't think I give a damn about the law. <laughs> the trees are speaking to me. Yeah. Well, Misfit landed it with style. Well, maybe mm -hmm. in the inside. Yeah. In the child, bro. Rob seems to risk of her uh, bottom half. <laughs> Everything's on fire. I think my quick. Quick. We need you. We need you. Really? Oh. Arson. Arson. Yeah. Oh, uh, you look at the <laughs> Okay, never mind. I can't feel my tail. And you're at We'll treat it when we find somewhere safe. Should we do something about the house? It's too late now. No, no, it's fine. It, it adds to it. can barely fit in it anyway. But there are water here. No, no, the trick or treaters <laughs> will love it. 
<laughs> Fire type, weak to water. <laughs> well, you can, if you can carry all the water, you can. My water friends, by. the story continues. Who are they? cries the little girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through a broken rib. But her daughter is safe, and that's all that matters. She stands and looks around at... at... Oh, no. at... The man standing mm. in the corner oh, of man. the room. Mm. He's not supposed to be here. Is Mitsuka your friend? <laughs> the entire forest is in flames. They must have detected her. Sure there! A path through the walls of fire. It's the only way. My friends, over here! Let's go! Oh boy, here we go. Here we go! Onward! Stop! But not too far! Okay. Right here, friends. She struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then the mother looks up and she sees it. A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. The airship creeps slowly, unstoppably, toward them. She places her daughter on her feet and kneels to look her in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get the words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The little girl stammers with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it, the mother cries. Take my hand and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her hand tight and they run. The mother's heart is racing. The fire is unbearably hot, and the smoke scrapes in her throat. My friends, my friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted and are now being pursued by the dark monument. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest, and so must all of you. As this is your first quest, click the pressure save point and run for their lives. Let's go! <laughs> Onward. People are already going for it. They just didn't even wait. You're... Don't touch the fire, if at all possible. Do not hit the spot spotlights. I forgot to turn my world volume up, I think. You see these yellow things over here? This is the...
freaking <laughs> so good. Oh, this avatar, what the cat? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wait. It looks like a normal guitar <laughs> well, no. when I don't hold it. Then it shows its true form. I didn't copy it from you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Shame. Oh, it's yeah, it's it's just need a little bit of a lunch, you know? How dare. <laughs> How dare we all have Nemanis. Nemanis Diamond. I'll show you the bell outfit later. If I can find it. Yeah. We'd love to hear Billy. Really? I'm guessing not much people like the voice changer. Okay. Up to you. Yeah. Wait, voice changer? Who? Mm -hmm. What? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you I you had it on, it? but it seems like not much people are pleased with that. I'll have you know. There was a voice oh, changer. Some of the best uh, members of our community have used voice cha changers. Speaking of which, I gotta reach that line. If he sinks. Seems like mine is probably getting on the okay, nerves. Okay, I'll again. be having it off for the time being. <laughs> All right, the choice is yours. I haven't been familiar with yours, but okay. <laughs> oh gosh, it's spreading. The, from uh, from looks of it, I've already got popcorn? three. I already, I already got three people muted me. Huh? <laughs> you, yeah, the message's already clear. Protag is just channeling What's their inner jumping? Mario. <laughs> yeah, Protag is being Mario. Wolfram Ritter and more we all, we all love Protag. It's a me, Protag! <laughs> you just bring it? Excuse me, Protag. <laughs> Do you understand Ritter. how Ritter. lovable Ritter. you are? Ritter. And how incredibly noticeable that is to everyone about how lovable you are? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're very lovable and we all appreciate you. You are very yeah. awesome. Dan at it, Dan. Don't you dare run uh, away, Howard. He's running away in embarrassment. Honestly, I can't. There's an alternate path. Of course, this way. Awesome. <laughs> Take the model oh. and make a Super Mario 64 mod. I've been informed that all of you have made it. Well done. Awesome. Good timing. Compared to the last few times, you all have done well. All right, the story <laughs> continues. I feel like there's a passive aggressive insult there. There you are. <laughs> Quite the contraire. Well, I have made changes to make the, this tour faster. But thank you. <sighs> My friends, we have made it somehow, and so have they. Please, this way. So be it. What the? No. I am faster in VR than I am on desktop. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Oh, I was gonna lean down. <laughs> Maybe you just feel the speed in VR. Well, no, usually I can't keep up with Shin, this is now my but den. this time I'm keeping up with him just fine. Were enter. you sprinting in, so in desktop? Yes. Really? Interesting. On all fours, on top of the water. Hmm. Maybe it's a placebo oh, yeah. effect. <laughs> the mother and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent and an old campfire in a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas. The leaves of the trees and the water surface all echo. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chill soothes the mother's, soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. 
the rain mask the tears, and soon she sleeps. The mother, however, does not, and keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a faraway place. A dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please use the nightmare save point. Let's see if I can actually run this yeah. maze without being Wait, caught in VR. Yeah. You're inside you my own world. It's a desktop I've never been caught in this maze. You can actually not get caught. Look up. Yeah. I've only done when it once, but I didn't do it first. Is back on a chair again? Oh, oh yeah, 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 the arrows. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And also, what about the shark thing? Because I've seen them even. Yeah, there's... Go away, go away. You're embarrassing. He's a little brighter. Hmm. The Titan. My friends, the story yes, continues. Oh, I am inside someone. Tonight's NPCs. Please come forward and stand next to me. Is it those three? <laughs> <laughs> Lucian. Where is Pac? He's right there. Fashion He's a little squiggly oh. right there. Uh, right behind him. Ah, oh. oh, yes. yes. I see better. Uh, I see Pack. Pack lover in one. My friends, listen carefully. My friends, watch as the NPCs turn on their searchlights. And they show them to you. Do you see their searchlights? My friends, make sure you have their avatars enabled. All right. NPCs Lucian and Pac, go now and take your place in the nightmare. Here's a hint for everyone. Look at this yellow throwing. My friends, a figure. When we're in the maze. I repeat. I repeat. A figure. A sacred figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick. The floor is a solid void. And the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. The unknown figure looks about. Barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was searching for something. Perhaps there are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted, drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They must find a way out. And so must all of you, as this is your next question. Listen carefully. Search for a way through the darkness and avoid the monsters at all cost. Getting caught in a monster's cone of light will fracture the young girl's hope and you will hear a crash of thunder if you are caught. Keep moving even though through the darkness, she dreams of you, travelers, and your quest begins now. Go! Onward. That is cheap.
target in front of us. <laughs> Didn't even see any of them. <laughs> I took a few shortcuts. I did take a few shortcuts. I saw, I saw shortcuts. Nice ice cream inside oh, our all the invisible world? No. Also, quick tip. You can cheat if you're in VR by peeking your head through the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's not all of them, though. No, yeah, all but that's oh, wow. cheating. I believe there's also a fake wall right around here. Oh, you're right. A lot I of fake just walls. Hide here if someone's coming. Oh. What? No, I don't have enough time. I uh, was only comfortable in saying that because there were no new people around. Yeah. Maybe you never see that far. Freedom. I th it is I fine. Really hope it's a lot less. Thunder than I normally hear, to be fair. Yeah, yeah normally just three or four people. Of the introduction. It is getting a lot better. It's a nightmare. Yeah. We're getting a lot better. Yeah. It's a lot better. Yeah. Can we all get away with one catching? Did you get your batteries? Can we get away with it? Got him. <laughs> but it's funnier because he can't swim. <laughs> I laugh at him. Cool. I want to show you something. Oh yeah, he's a slime and doesn't affect him. Oh, you swear? Slime, slime. Oh, oh. 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 but that's in the Maya. Name it, Dad. You don't screw the guy's mask. Transparency. Josh, Josh. It's a difference. But no. I'm gonna show you something. I'll be muted in. One song from the that that Muppet movie where Kermit's in the swamp. Uh, yeah. Nope, I don't have it. I'm just doing it You make it through the maze, all right? Need this? <laughs> what is this ritual? Protag, what are you summoning? <laughs> we are so, we are powering up the great Protag. Join us. <laughs> Ruined IRL. We got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Let's go. Is this a okay? We're gonna be careful though, this I think no Protect might have a limit on how much power we gotta cheer up the kids, so we don't want to overpower them. Oh, oh cool. we got dense. We don't want to get them drunk on the power. That kid has no sense of humor and cannot be happy. That's not possible. He's the Protect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Protect always has to be happy in the story. Or else how can you follow? He's the Protect. <laughs> True. It's a ritual of summoning. Yes, we are not summoning. Depends on the plot points. We are giving our spirits and power to the great protag. Yeah, yeah, Dragon Ball Z, you just lift up your hand to do it. Here, we dance to give our energy. On yeah. this season of VR Travelers, protag harvests our ether. Yep. In a good way. Of course. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, we this special Z. Someone that has taken a screenshot of this. A screenshot is in order. Screenshot? No success. I'm gonna try and crunch down back in this tent. I'll have you know that having a dance party in the middle of a tour and not taking a screenshot is unforgivable. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. We're all tired now. Yeah, great job. Now we're gonna get the bad ending for sure. I hope that there's a screenshot. Nice if there is, post it in the Discord. <laughs> Please, somebody <laughs> post it. I need to see it. Someone, someone no, had to have taken a screenshot. Wait, no, I didn't take the photo. Or clipped it or something. I didn't. I mean, I got recording, I but that's not quite a screenshot. Well, you could well, compress it down no. to Discord. 
It's times yeah. like this that I will never forget the dance party of the archaeologist in the early days of VR Travelers. Well then, my friends, the story continues. You're also saying this crazy. <laughs> the girl wakes herself up, screaming in the dark of night, her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, she comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but struggles to speak through trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare, and not to worry. The daughter tries to go on about how the person in her nightmare was searching for something, but her voice is shaking too much. The mother interrupts, telling her it was not real. She's safe now. Together, they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun shining like a golden orb between parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself the town of Shade has always been a place Rebel Supplies move through. Surely, clues to the Ethos Coalition are there. The mother... Clear for now. My friends, this way. Coming back. Hmm. Welcome back. Type it down to a science. Who's back and why should I welcome them? You're back. Welcome yourself. Yo, is that a transformer? <gasps> welcome, self. What did you fucking say? The story oh. continues. The town of Shade is small, busy, and an unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City. First. She needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky, then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. All of you must explore this town of shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory once you do. My friends, you have five minutes to search this town. Please return here 
in front of the indoor before the time is up. Do not be late. The sky is clear for now. Good luck. Let's make it quick. Right, 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 here we go again. I guess to sit back and enjoy my beer. Quest back. updated. Um, tell Pop. Once. No, that would be too unfair.
The mother was an engineer, correct? In the last month, in the last... Tech, you have less than two minutes remaining. You have a minute left, Tech. Mm -hmm. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 30 seconds remaining. Uh, yeah, they're just like little images. Yeah, I got, yeah. There's like an yeah, my radio or something. So I can kill it, dude. I got my chip. Get the holy shield. Get the holy shield. Get the holy shield. So we've already taken. We haven't taken the red skirt yet, but we've taken the other two of those items before. I remember the pilot's promise to rumble the dust. And the uh, the coalition info to give us some information, okay, but it didn't really do much more than that. So no, I don't think it did. ask you, I probably yeah. I think that, that helps us caffeine remembrance. Find, find weird combinations hmm? of things. Yeah, no. Yeah, because I don't think we've taken that. Holy shield look, seems to be useful. Yeah. Holy at shield the does. I think we have a strawberry lemonade right here. And <laughs> basically, at the end of this, uh, like, tour, right, uh, well, there will have a combat event where these items turn into other items. So, like, or like, a, like any health item will probably turn into a healing item. Uh, we have, like, weapons will turn into an attacking item. You know, shields turn into shields to help us protect. It all depends on these three items. All depends on these three items that we take coming up. Silver shield, I yeah, we've, we've been trying different, uh, like, uh, combinations of those items lately, every time we come on the Yo, we're on the, on the same the side here, what's going on? The ones that protected us. Oh, yeah, so much. Yeah, Mario. The problem is combos make us have less items in the fight. I think we need oh, yeah, you've got, you've got time to go yeah. real fast. items that don't combine. Uh, items that Maybe. seem to be useful on the surface level. Wait, are we doing this again? Deeper. The pilot shield and the ether veiler. <laughs> Remember we said that. And don't forget, Trajan. But there was also yeah, another item, shield. right? That GIA director's code. Mm -hmm. Pilot shield by itself will also turn into the holy be, shield. That could be this good. was confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> any time there is a combination, it is only negative. I have coalition info 133. As well as at the top of that tower, I never, find, I never, find, I never find the first one. How do I pull up the inventory on VR? Right Most likely VR. red herring. Uh, oh, yeah, what's going on? Hand hand menu yeah. button. What if I'm left handed? VR then if it doesn't work, go. try I got, it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. The closer just to do, press that X button on the menu button. In the menu window. Power. My friends. Time has expired. Please gather around. The story continues. Yeah, that, was a, that was a long five minutes. Well done. Hopefully, you all found what they need. The innkeeper tells the mother the room is ready. This way, my friends. The room we go. Yes, sir. No, <laughs> I forgot the door went out. <laughs> rat in the bath. Rat, rat, rat in the bath. Hey, they need to be cleaned. Immediately to the bathroom. Nice. Makes sense. You can have a bath. Nice car. I'm clean now. And besides, rats are known for uh, commonly are cleaning you clean, themselves. Rat? Are you clean? I am. I am. I am. I'm a sparkling, uh, uh, dazzling rat. I, I could use some, I could use a wash. You sure are. Oh, Mr. Your mind is not, though. That is mm. not. That's no, debatable. <laughs> and now this bit. And the 
just like you to leave. The cube. The cube. I still might get a new Optimus Prime narration voice. I can only wish that I was as powerful as Optimus Prime. Well then, the story continues. The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting the small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag, but isn't sure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key to view your inventory. If you're in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press the menu or the jump button. You have five minutes to discuss and decide as a group which three items the daughter will carry for her mother. Your time begins now. Alright, we're Let's see. First, there's one thing. Medical supplies will stick with the mother. That, that's the first. Okay. Well, we just have to pick the three okay. things that get carried. It's an um, extra ARDX. Yeah. Yo, do you have any good items? <laughs> what does that even mean? Holy Shield was one of the good items. And that's that's the assault, really? Well, we want, a, we want the daughter a to stay protected, sarong? right? dreamer's sarong? Just as an idea. Yes. Yeah. What medicine? I, I, I think, think uh, uh, good luck charm like should be as well. Nice. What that, yeah, that, what give that the child a knife. Is where I'm not sure. And I got the and Legend of Blossom Island. Into... I got Rusal and Zedisol. Yeah, I have that too. Protect mm -hmm. off. Shield and Legend shield of shield Blossom and Island. Shield. The, the Holy Shield Dragon Masters Ocarina. Can only protect us uh -huh. Extra ARDS. Yeah, 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 I just want to know what the extra ARDS is. All the dream items dissipate on their own. Lucius Pendant at one point. That's like a stream Oh, as well as Athena's yeah. Rememberizer. I, re I remember grabbing that. I was well, like, that's a possible. Ball. We could take that. Then, how about Lucius Pendant? Since apparently, you guys have a good feeling about that one. <laughs> See, the, Personally, yeah, I like the idea. Of Everybody get that burn this. cream, dude. The, the reason why I believe the time it would be good to take is because True. in Chrono Trigger. <laughs> The attack. That you mean the dream egg? Well, I don't want to spoil too much. No, the time. The dream egg. Um, there are two eggs. Oh, there's two That's eggs. Me, oh. Yeah. Oh. In Chrono Trigger, um, they're okay. So at the, at the, I don't want to spoil anything for newcomers. For this. It's just one of the key items. Basically, egg dig good thing in Chrono Trigger. Yes, yeah, that is the best person way to describe from it. big attack. I don't even remember what it is. But we can, we can agree remember. that uh, the daughter is going to need a shield and a weapon at, at the very least, right? Holy yeah. shit. And then the third yeah. item is kind of those items. I'm literally just debating on what the third item is. I don't remember it. Well, I'm, I'm just yeah. saying as a whole, uh, overall, we kind of understand that the daughter is probably going to need some form of protection. Yeah. So everyone, um, the third item, I believe, should be up to whoever gets picked. There are a bunch of things that people have been saying. Time Egg, Lucius Pendant, yeah. Alpinus Rememberizer, Good Luck Charm, Astral Amulet. Just, um, if you have any of those items, pick which one, whichever one is the best. But the other two items, I believe, the Infused Dagger and the Holy Shield, should be taken no matter what at this stage. That's all. Yeah, regardless. Yeah. Uh, it's it's treasure map? <laughs> That turns everyone into in the room that does like the give us an attack option, does. yes. Okay. I believe that turns Double into the a weapon. Bayonet, actually. I thought that worked for me. Uh, it's, yes, mm. it does. Maybe, have, but... Like, a protection thing, we already got the infused dagger and the holy shield. We need a third... There's a third item that we don't yeah, know yet. that's what we're guessing. I, I think maybe we could take at least one healing it? item, maybe. There's, there's a we multitude of things that people have been saying for the third item. So really, yeah. we're just gonna well, leave it. Whoever gets to pick, pick the third the item, right. we're just gonna roll with whatever so, they pick. Yeah. 
As long as we can have a third item. Like, so like, 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 shield. Although, it would be a bit, although it would be a bit better than the, it would be a bit better things? than last time when we, oh, when we yeah, chose like a set up, when there was like two groups with two sets and one what? person chose the holy shield. That was a blessing yeah. in the disguise. We were, but we were, we were given the hint from that, that obvious sets probably aren't going to be the answer because that would be too easy. Yeah. Way too easy. Yeah. Holy shield and the infused dagger. Extra R A R D X do. Oh my god, your face. Extra um, R P X. Was that also I healing Adam? I don't remember. Did, like some like blush gesture thing. I don't remember. Well, we I don't remember. I thought we took. At the very least. Uh, you sure? I I'm I thought we. Sure. I do once, think a so rememberizer sure. would be important, given that this is a dream and memory. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and head out. And your face will think like we give okay. it. It would be an interesting. Yeah, there's um, um there's two friends on on my show. I, I haven't spoke to them in a while, so I want to go say hello quickly before. What about the so, pilot? Yeah, I'll talk to you later, man. Story. Make the pilot's promise. I have that. The pilot's promise. I think yeah. that I believe that crumbles yeah. on its own. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it has to be combined with another time. item, but we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Let's not bring something we know is pretty useless on our current. Yeah, I don't know all the things that were taken last time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My um, friends, I... my friends, my friends, you have. 20 seconds remaining. Oh. Bring the comfy Can I make an additional cool. point? Comfy scarf. <laughs> Althena's yeah, yeah. rememberizer <laughs> might be something we can hold, look at, and read things from. Oh, yeah, that may be something interesting. That could be useful. Yeah. Coalition info okay. number okay. three. So, so, we'll just bring all three. Seems books. like. So holy Dagger, Holy Shield, Rememberizer? Or, yes. or whatever someone else has that that would be or interesting. Has, the the um, first two options are the most important. Like a utility no, item. Not woo baby. Woo baby won't work. <laughs> oh no, my god. Please. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, no. the, the daughter is too young for woo baby. <laughs> it's alright. It's too young. Yeah, that's what the brain is. But the mother is 18 uh, plus. This text tells the story yeah. of a great hero who's fighting no, too soon. No, you stop. By themselves. Let's not talk exactly, about Exactly, Luke. Let's not talk about name was that one. I can't, I can't even read this. By the ethers themselves. Let's not talk about that book. Woo baby. <laughs> but I do believe oh, no. already, right? Oh, no. Yo, I did not expect oh. so many people Maybe to be I'm here. Sorry. That's so funny. I love it. I, oh, I love it. Oh. oh my god. By the ether. Where's this guy? What? What? What god of creation Here's has made this? this? Hey, my. Yo. Yo. My friends. What's up, bro? Your time has expired. The story must continue. Thank you very much for staying with us so far. But the action is this, is this will like come. A, is this like a cult? Yes, it is a cult, friend. Have you said the sacred password to join us? <laughs> and no, it is not a baby. <laughs> oh, yes, have, you, have you given your soul your credit card number? If you haven't, oh no worries. <laughs> you will. <laughs> For legal purposes, that was a joke, and this is not a cult. This is a story based tour. And now, my friends, the story continues. Phelan. Yes, you, Phelan. Oh, no. Tell me. Okay. I heard my name. You did hear your name, Phelan. Everyone is listening. <laughs> oh, Tell no. me, Phelan, what spot. is one <laughs> item the daughter will bring for her mother? Oh, shit. Um, is someone going I remember to... there's a shield. Hold on, I got it somewhere. The holy shield. The holy shield. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Tiki. Tiki Hawaii. What is one item the daughter will carry for her mother? Infused dagger. God damn it. Uh. Hmm. I can't think of anything. The holy shield, most likely. Yeah. We already have we one already from there. It. Oh, another item. Uh. 
You got your hearing apparatus off? Pass, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't here for most of it. I disconnected. Uh, now that's pretty unfair. Tiki, I'll give you five more seconds and for everyone to give you ideas starting now. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. How about Fuse Dagger? Fuse Dagger. Fuse Dagger. Fuse Dagger. I got bit by a spider. The Infused Dagger. Flown ideas. The Infused Dagger. Oh, wait, no, this is a, this is a, a That's a brute force opinion. Three, two, one. Tiki, what is your answer? Infused dagger. Hand was Infused oh, dagger. Infused with the shit in the ether. <laughs> Sphilly Mario, what will the daughter carry for her mother? Just type it to me, Mario. Yeah, just send one of us a mute. message, Mario. <laughs> He's a mute. <laughs> He's a mute. Just type it to me. <laughs> type what you want. He's typing it. Don't worry, friends. He'll get his message through the narratives. Mm -hmm. Roger that. He's getting there. He's getting there. Roger that. Do 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 <laughs> That's my waiting song. Friends, kindly your silence. Billy Mario will speak and change the fate of everything. Okay. We're gonna go take a bath while we wait. Jeez, jeez, jeez. That's your own bath. Hey, uh, what a small world, though. I know, right? <laughs> what are the chances of that? <laughs> I've met a couple of people. The ones who do the uh, YouTube videos. Oh, typing. I met her. Uh huh. Is Mario messaging you? <laughs> He's messaging me. Okay. It's Philly. Sphilly Mario, I've been told you're messaging Kermit. Is this all true? Right. He's, he said, I kind of forgot what item they all wanted to bring, but uh, Althena's oh Rememberizer. Althena's Rememberizer. It's a good one. Okay. The first time this really, you could have taken has been Nobody mentioned. could have decided. Oh. Althena's Rememberizer. Thank you. This could this make or break the situation. At the same time, really? oh, or do Jack squat. During the fight, but that was late. Hey, you never know. That's what he Very said. Well. You could have just change the Probably. entire the yeah. story. Yeah. Continues. Depends on what it does. I'm here. Sorry, I didn't mean to get it. Oh, shit. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding, but she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds, painting the buildings with a soft pink light. The daughter jumps up on the bed, cuddles up to her mother, and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we gonna stay here? She asks. I want to go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. Uh, you need to sleep, so you can walk with me tomorrow. You need to sleep too. The little girl nudges her mother and places a hand over her heart. She can feel it beating steadily. 
the feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother breaks into a heartwarming smile. You already are, my angel. Daddy said, you're a good luck charm, as though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling, but there's nobody there. The mother laughs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The daughter squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart too? She puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in. Her answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep within minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes. It's begins. Uh -oh. And looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we all sleep. For what is good never lasts. Please. Use the nightmare save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. Here we go again. Ah, oh, shit. Here we oh, go again. Shit. Nobody fall off. Our still great memories. Bridge. People falling off the stage. the first to fall today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, be on oh, Nick Bob. Uh, Nick Bob the first <laughs> to fall. <laughs> no, it's like a, it's like a rite of passage sure at this point. I'm not sure if it's oblivion considering we respawn. Unless it's yeah, like you're we're in oblivion for a few seconds. I always feel like I'm always like, oh, no, I'm falling. It's not nearly as true. I'm not nearly as true. I'm not nearly as true. And I just I have the memory of the other one. Is, what are you, a Hyperion new user? I know, right? When you're in VR, it's like, it looks like you're about to fall over the entire time with the ground's moving. Yeah, it does. What the hell is that? Especially when you look off in the distance, you're like, oh, am I moving backwards? I don't know. Attention. Also, why do you need to be pushed off? Tonight's NPCs. I repeat, tonight's NPCs. Please come forward and stand next to me. We're back. Lucian and back. Change into your dream eater avatars. <laughs> Luca, look to your left. Oh, 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 I think oh, that's a bit oh, glorious. Take your that's place. not going to help. You're going to knock over me to fall Perfect. back. I know. Damn, Lucian. Oh, I'm in a rectum. Oh, I'm in a rectum. Okay. Oh, 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 dear. This is a dream eater, all right. The story continues. <laughs> No, I have the story like, continues. Once more, the unknown figure it's becomes aware. The air is colder, but their vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. Yes. They are here for a reason. What am I searching for? Why can't I remember who I am? The figure is suddenly aware of the void behind them. Glancing back, they see only swirling shadow and are filled with a sense of dread. Something is following. My friends, 
This is your next quest. Listen carefully. Find a way to the end. This time there were no monsters to avoid, but instead a pair of dream eaters block the exit. Gather around the dream eaters and answer their question together as a group. My friends, good luck. And hurry. We must do this together. We can't do this solo. Stick together. I must find them. I must dream of you. Hmm. I'm gonna dream of you. Can they dream of us? Oh, it looks like they're already gone. What? She oh, waits oh at the bottom of the ocean. You wait behind the tidal wave. How majority vote when democracy What's... works? Apparently. I think she waits the bottom of the ocean. I don't remember what they were. Hold up. Hold I guess up. we're going that way. Quick. Hold up. I will never forget you. Try to remember me. I think this is the first time we've gone as a group. Oh. Yeah. First time there's... These tour guys always, the tour guys always take the opposite it. path that we do. How man just... going again? Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, just oh, just too much. <laughs> so we've got a giant okay. spider in the sand. I know my way around. You sure? Giant enemy you sure? spider. You sure, big bird? <laughs> My friends, it whatever. is very important that, that we are all yeah. unified she with what's coming well, next. Well, uh, dragons can <laughs> breathe different <laughs> elements. <laughs> 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 yeah, emperors can be projectile shits. What's the difference with that? No one's listening. It's also different dimensions. The elements don't go out of the because they just walked on air all the way through. Depends on which dragon you're talking to. Think about it. Don't blurt out the answer. We must agree on this unanimously. No one person yes, can choose. Right. Agreed. I'm for a riddle. I can see a thumbs up, but this one's a little broken. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not mine. Be silent. Oh jeez, the snake speaks. Bro. Welcome, pilot. I'm so glad you could make it. As you might remember, we go way back. Would you like a riddle? It just came to us. Here it is. A creature's last breath is half what I need. Stirred into a pot and dropped from the sea. The breeze swept outside for the heavens to feed, where I'll smash it together and help fill the breeze. Oh no! I wasn't. I wasn't in the last memory. I wasn't in the last memory. Oh, they changed. Oh my! I couldn't understand Lucian. Thank you. I couldn't understand either of them. Oh my, yeah, it's, it's hard to understand into a pilot with shots from the sea. It's already on Discord, friends. Check the Discord. <laughs> oh, is it on the Discord, please? Oh, thank you. The creature's last breath is half of what I need. Stirred into a pot with drops from the sea. Is the bruise left outside for the heavens to feed. We're all smashed together and help fill the breeze. Is it a pie? <laughs> it depends. Like Creatures last that? half of what a I need. A pie sounds that's like a more silly breeze. answer. That sounds a bit ridiculous. Well, people put pies on window sills. I'm, I'm. This isn't my serious yeah. answer, by the way. But it, I just wanted to say it sounded <laughs> like pie. Creatures <laughs> last. That's a unique. Hmm. That's a unique analogy to a riddle. Hmm. The first and third line reminds me of some sort of sacrifice. I don't know. Indeed. The ritual. You're now at this point, Dada Frame. I think you can put away that saber. There's nothing dangerous at this point. Do I have it on? 
to me. Oh, I, don't, I don't even know. Uh, who now you don't. Mm -hmm. you don't know I guess I didn't. No, I guess I didn't. Um, uh, I guess I didn't properly get rid of it when you looked away from me. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. What? Yeah. I was about to say, you don't even know what Baroth is. One minute to answer the riddle remains. I repeat, one minute to answer the riddle remains. Okay, we need something. Uh, it looks like you're trying to do a sinister thing with your hands there. I just think my hands are more than this the easiest way. It's like, it feels weird if I just have my arms like dangling under my chair like this. I think it was all part of the last line. I just have. I, I, you know, it looks whatever he likes. He screenshots his yeah, stuff, okay. but. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I do it the last line. That creature's last <laughs> breath. So is there like a riddle that's. You don't really a lot of games were actually made like with whale well blubber for the longest time. Yes, yeah, that is true. They just said it. Maybe. What was that? That protect? could be one of them. <laughs> I was, I was but maybe someone else has a better like, analogy. Mm -hmm. to have the time. Just, you must hear the mouth. Oh yeah. no. Well, it seems like nobody else is giving. But the like bruise is left outside the heavens to feed the bruise. It's been fermented. Really it, it sounds like something that's been fermented. A snake looking pretty linear, bro. Yeah, we know. Hmm. <laughs> something like you need to dry out. I don't know. Something with sea salt. Or something. With, with sea water. What is it? We have to give an answer soon, though. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm honestly really stumped. What about I'm not like a pelts person, so. or whatnot? Yeah. No. Pelts? Mm -hmm. Pelts no. make sense. Personally, it sounds like a marum, which is a fish sauce. Give it to us an answer. Well, you do have to boil and everything, but. We have to give an answer. Give us, now. Give us a few seconds, snake stream snake. Please. <laughs> Aggressively friendly. Uh, yeah. Everyone, we need an You'll get your answer when you right need. Well, You'll get your answer. We are only I'm right. Right. Yeah. Honestly, stop. I think perfume. We that's the perfume only the answer that's somewhat concrete. Yeah. Well, I'll be, everyone I'll agree. Agree. Everyone agree. Everyone Does everyone, everyone want to guess? That, it's a gamble. Perfume. Yes. Sure. It's a gamble. But it's the only one we, we can think of that would work. We don't have any uh, other answers. I think we're out of time. Your answer, perfume. This is incorrect. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's yep. too bad. Well, we tried, boys. We'll get him next time. We'll get we next couldn't time. even stay for tea. Goodbye, Pretty. It seems our time has run out. Bruh. Really a Stay draw the mic. This is a riddle that we, this is a riddle that we need to ponder more. <laughs> it was a long time. Every time I get one by the time. NPCs. So, huh. how are you? NPCs are very different. Every time. Yeah. That's the. That, that's the hard part. It changes. If it were the same every time, it would be too easy. I'm back. <laughs> we would have gone the trending way quicker. My friends, yes. the story continues. I was Actually, no the unknown one. figure There's passes between sneaks. the strange nightmare manifestations and enters a new space. <laughs> there comes the scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into shadows that feel distant, and a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in the abyss, majestic and imposing. As if the person perceives more and more of it, it comes into existence. Its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night and there it waits motionless expectant what did the tesseract say my friends please you is the wake save point. Us today. We tried, boys. We'll get him next time.
We can at least do all the best we can. Don't give up yet. We may discover new things. I was that bad of a nightmare. I need another one. There's a there's, <laughs> there's a chance we might we still be able to get the good ending though. The true ending. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Don't remember that one. We'll Isn't see. The good ending. The true yeah. ending. Really? Yeah. I guess I I guess I played I guess I played different games. I mean, you can have a good ending, but it's not all the pieces together. Yeah. And generally, when we bit get the bad ending, we're on the right track. We learn from our mistakes. My mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. The girl <laughs> is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. You. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor. We have to go. Get dressed. We have to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about the nightmare. About she, how she knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented. It hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following no. us. The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed and pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. Don't look at it. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you. But we have to leave now. The world comes down around them. Everyone, this way. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, fuck, 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 oh, fuck. I see some things are turning Not again. Up. Fire. Damn. Everything is on fire. God dang it. Keep stealing all my balls. This way, friends. Why you keep getting napalm? Where have you been getting it? I'm a warmonger. We've been through this. Must escape. Yeah, well, your warmongering is not doing so well. Shit, that ain't warmongering. Contraire, there is war going on, so I am going to monger it. Where are you trying to be? The ironmonger? What? Shit. Oh dear. Well, and so I don't know about you guys, but okay, uh, I get the feeling that I'm no getting one can get out, out of here without really being trapped. injured horribly. I think this Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't be the trash. Let's see if we can. At least the fewer injuries are the better ones. My friend. I was about to say that kind of took a round trip. Yep. With daughter in tow, the mother makes her way to the town exit opposite the town. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side. Still running. She goes to lift it upright. Hold. Manual control restored. And, well, Welcome back. Gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. Man, the mother states they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs yeah, away. Scary up here. I said halt, the soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. 
His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. Are they okay? Now loading. <laughs> this is some one serious loading time. Yeah, must be uh. Jeez, what's going on? Oh, the vortex. Uh, PlayStation One again. Did we break the box? He forgot to close Lucian, what button did you push? <laughs> With his eyes Someone the cartridge. now on the sky, the soldier reaches for his comm device, oh, preparing to notify command of his discovery. What is it? The mother has three yeah. options to choose from. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You have 30 seconds like to decide. Attack. 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 We're going to attack. 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 Might as well attack. 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 The only thing we haven't tried for one <laughs> we, we, we are going to, ass we are going to assault you, mister. Uh, I, I don't think so. Maybe. I guess, I think we were theorizing in the Discord that depending on what color the daughter glows, we change our answer for attack to defend mother instincts. Because there have been three colors, green, blue, and red. Mm -hmm. So we are guessing oh, that one uh, correlates to each one. Know when so when the daughter you know starts when glowing, you know when the... moment creativity. <laughs> so can I tell oh, well, you? We'll see. I had a theory you know when the guard's eyes, eyes. Okay. mother's instinct on when the daughter glows. Israel King is packing a sword. We will be safe. It, it depends on because the girl, the daughter glows three colors. Not just a sword. So no, 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 but it's, a, it's all a theory. <laughs> we do know that when the guard's eyes are on the sky, so, uh, if we attack both the mother and the guard the get earlier injured. Wire, he said he's down to play here. The mother gets injured every I have time, no, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from the from the paths we've chosen, <laughs> at least. Why you're fucking spinning? Five seconds. Uh, I think for this one we're gonna attack. If we attack, are the kid is going to be safe? Yeah. Probably. From 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 the from the minimum from the choices I've I've seen last time. Yeah. Yeah. We got three turns. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. And then we tried Mother's Instinct one night, all three times. Just to see what Your time happened. has expired. The shattered. What will the mother do? Attack, defend, or Mother's Instinct? What's wrong with the arms on this thing? But like we're Commence the attack. Six seconds. All right. We turn. With the soldier distracted and one arm occupied, she rushes him from the side. The soldier twists to grab her, allowing her heel to strike his unguarded torso and knocking the wind out of him. The soldier spits up blood. He drops the comm device, but catches her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. Oh, this one. This is different. This one's. This one's. Okay. Oh, no. The mother was the mother knocked to the ground, but quickly gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, his gun blade aiming at her eyes. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 
30 seconds. We gotta be quick. Defend. Defending Defend. would only get it. Defend. Defending, you. right? Defend. Defend? That's Think defend. Defend. Defend yourself! Yeah, based on the document. Uh, Yidia, did you click on the document? <laughs> Seems like defend is your choice. Defend's the only one that yeah, you can do. Yeah, go ahead and do that. It'll show you. Yeah, it's Maybe. nice to pull up on the side. I think we, we have three options. We have three options. We have three options and three turns. Yes. Ooh, round three is gonna be. But those weird. combinations, we got about no, we got about nine. We got about nine. Defense from point blank shot. shot. What could go wrong? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The telepathic connection. Prism's got some moves. Oh, yeah, he does. Bro. Don't say that. Oh, he got it. Don't say yeah. that. <laughs> Last time. I need to turn down my AC. It's fucking freezing balls. Was able to give us enough time. He posed to assert no. dominance. Right? You're right. Know about the defend part. No, I think we're defending. How can we defend from a bullet? <laughs> I think. I, you, know, you know what they say. The best defense is a good offense. You gotta try. That was pretty amazing. It's definitely Thanks what they said for that uh, performance you just did with the back. Five back. seconds. Pretty nice. You're welcome. All right, which one we're going to agree on? Which one we're agreeing on? Defend. I defend, defend, I believe. Yes, defend. 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 All right, defend yourself. Defend yourself. Period. Right <laughs> next to me, to my left. You there. What will the mother do? The man in the corner. <laughs> hmm. Uh, you can use thumbs up or thumbs down to, in the expression menu. So and maybe, uh, or, or, like one of the are expressions. you saying defense? Like, I, I do think, believe. I think they it's mute. Don't, don't speak. Thumbs up for attack. Yeah. Thumbs yeah. down. He just nodded. And go. Okay. Um. He just nodded for defend. Do you want to defend? Oh, no. Yes or no? Okay. He said yes. yes. Defend. Decisive. I like it. Period. They have explained that defend is your perceived answer. Is this correct? I see a nod. They have nodded. The answer is clear. She oh, so reaches. She reaches for a lid of a nearby crate to shield herself. But before she can Whoa. bring it up to her head. It is struck with a bullet and knocked out of her hands. He takes another shot, hitting her deep in the upper leg. Seeing her slowed now, he moves in close. The soldier has taken no damage this round. Wait, was it three turns or four? Four turns. Screwed over someone. What's wrong? Yeah, sucks to be a mobile suit. Mother's instinct might, just might soldier, be the way to go if he's aiming at the. The soldier door. pulls the gun blade back, preparing for a forward thrust. Attack, defend, oh. or mother's instinct. 30 Whoa. seconds. What? Forward oh. thrust. Forward thrust? This one's a fast one. We need to attack. Sideways attack. Upwards attack. Downward <laughs> attack. Right. What does it Do we not have a forest attack? <laughs> Mother's instinct <laughs> is an unclear option. Oh it's just God. she thinks about her daughter and take and just goes and for it. it. That's... Whatever that might be. Yeah. Yeah. That's an it's unknown option. Depending on depending Four on the action. Maybe we attack, attack in defend, Mother's Instinct, like it's a downward attack? attack? Oh, is that you, Yeah, come right you use it. I don't know what we should do. Hey. We fast in yeah, 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 I have no idea, honestly. I think well, Mother's Instinct... Because right now we're... Impossible. Trust me. Would break mm -hmm. I know. My hands are not Maybe, hard. But if we yeah, we don't we know what we're gonna do. That's fair. Five seconds. They don't call me I think this is similar to a downward strike. So, I... I think gotcha. Mother's Instincts is our choice. Okay. That'll be next week's stream. Yeah, but but we're trying to Mother's Instinct? There is a trial, I guess. This is an option yeah, that we've never... This Pretty is a situation much. we've never heard before. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going to use the wrong idea at the wall. Attack. This is gonna... Uh, I would say Mother's Instinct this might be this is gonna, gonna, it. It There, in the back. Res... Rep... 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 Repetrotal. I still can't pronounce your name correctly. Repestrol. <laughs>
Minstrel uh, of the purple color, come forward and explain your answer in interpretive dance. Yes, you are in the spotlight. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Which one? Hmm. Where? That's the airline. Your choice. <laughs> well, attack. we're waiting with bated breath. Trying to figure out. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Shit. Mother's instinct. Oh, wow. Attack, Attack. Attack. Was that? Such beauty. What? <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know which one it is. That was actually really cool. Mother's instinct. Um. All right, rep. Listen carefully. If you choose attack, raise your left hand. If you choose defend, raise your right hand. If you choose mother's instinct, grab your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Channeled inner Michael Jackson for the win. You got to channel it. You're gonna grab your channel it. The power of the minstrels. Beautiful. We've channeled Michael Jackson. This has got to work. The body language of the gods. I didn't see. Which one was that? Which one was that? Oh, yeah, you gotta do it again. That was a very clear crotch grab. The crotch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mother's instinct. Very well. Let's go. Okay. We love it here. Beautiful. I hope that all of you know that all of us here at VR Travelers are very blessed. We sure are. Indeed. 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 She moves back one, please, toward the wall as he follows. She glares at him and dashes to the side. He swings blindly, only to find his blade stopped by the wall. Sparks fly, and she takes the opportunity to rush and grapple the gunblade handle, wrestling it free from the soldier. Before she can position herself to swing it, he hooks her hard in the stomach. And she drops the weapon. Shoot. The angry soldier grabs her left arm and twists it into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt, but he then brings his elbow down hard, breaking her arm at the wrist. The soldier has taken no damage this round. What did you say? Mother's instinct round two. Add to the toy you want to wash Waterloo. Now, Waterloo? positioned between them, the soldier grabs and growls for the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. The daughter shouts. Leave us alone! Sessions, you know, Just British as a community. yellow aura erupts around yeah, her. Abdicate, abdicate. I will it's die. yellow one. 30 no. seconds. Attack, <laughs> defend, or mother's instinct. Oh, sorry. It's yellow. Yellow means. Oh, we don't have any love, information about it? that. It's your shirt! It's just a random color all the time. Sure. Yeah, I believe the yellow aura My means love. Okay, uh, yellow means mother's instinct. Means love, yeah. the color. That makes sense. Every time. Oh, and. God. It has no Last bearing time, on use mother's instinct. Depending on what, like, what about this like one? ether in this universe, right? No, this all the turn stories, makes sense. Exists as, like, magic, if y'all right? is a color so of love, sense. there's different colors for different then, like, emotions. Yeah, because elf man, elf man, man. grief. I don't see any other connection. Yellow, yellow, yellow ether so, in the bartender. Or and then, I believe, and purple in the background. Yeah. So it's It's like a hidden meaning for all, like, the stories for the layers. The most probable choice. Yeah, oh, so Mother's okay. Instinct. Yeah. Okay. It's our so I right. the unanimous choice, hopefully. Mother's Instinct, yeah. I will find your address. That seems to be the one more probable. The instinct of a mother, Although me as a mobile kid, cannot learn about this, Take but... I, I know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, can I make a suggestion? You would know. I would know. Bang, bang, bang. Exactly. your kitchen table. And not clean it up and then leave. 
five seconds. Who oh, will be chosen for this? No idea. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. Incredible land. Ryro. The moderator. Thank you. Come forward, my friend. What will the mother do? Closer. They must hear you. Is that guy like the moderator or the admin? Mother's instinct. Hi. Mm, these loading time these loading times are taking a while. He's processing. <laughs> she meets her daughter's eyes and are... shouts. Save us. The girl drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura explodes into a torrent of yellow flames. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him, sending him flying through the wall. Hubert effect. <clears throat> Severely injured, but still alive, the soldier gets up. Immediately, he runs to his mech, climbing up into the open cockpit. Just before the door closes, the mother throws the incendiary grenade inside. Grenade! Yeet. The ground shakes, but not because of the grenade going off. A shadow sweeps across everything. The dark monument airship now hovers over the town gates, dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the bullet-riddled motorcycle up into an upright position. She calls to her daughter to get on. But the girl stands and moving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm. The adrenaline masks the pain. For now. <laughs> We're going to be okay, she tells her daughter. I promise. We have to, she thinks to herself. Together, they speed away from the inferno that was shade. My friends, <laughs> this way. All right. Uh, let me try that. Yeah, yeah, it's... Mm. Yeah, it's I, think, I think what might be the difference between eating the soldiers, we might boing, get boing. to keep his ear. For some reason, I'm suddenly hearing cat purring. <laughs> a solution. <laughs> Stop here, my friends. My friends, they ride for hours. The trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out in the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We're almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way.
this what? accursed place again. <sighs> accursed place, you say. Accursed place, you say. You have oh, no idea. Well, from what I can tell, it wasn't accursed. It became accursed. I like your words, magic man. Funny words, yeah. magic man. Damn it, words. <laughs> I like your funny words, magic man. One of these days I'll get a reference for <laughs> My friends, the sky <laughs> is dark. The outpost looms ahead. Various points of light moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally. They're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take a rest, and she can heal her. Wait, something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers. The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And it... It hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is almost unbearable. And it's getting worse by the minute. Mama? Mama? The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the dream world together. She takes hold of her mother's hand. I thought that there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there, Mama. Let's go to sleep and forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here. And this poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. Her angel is losing herself. No. She has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands up and takes her daughter's hand back. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. You shall not pass. But I shall. <sighs> More mech. I... What? <laughs> oh, this is okay. More mechs. Dude, the science disgusts me. This is safe. It's like two cats getting ready to fight for their territory. Uh, the penguin versus the rat. <laughs> Who shall hold victory? Or like two gods. I mean, what? the god What's of the war. difference? Penguins. You aren't wrong. Oh god. My friends. <laughs> Don't mind us. They Go sneak penguin. through the building carefully, avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as two soldiers approach one another. They stop to talk, and the mother listens carefully. Hey, I'm sure you've heard, but Shade's been white from the mouth. A worried tone. I'm not surprised. The dark monument is in the region. And Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. 
But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. Unlikely. That machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. Don't you know? They would not destroy something this important. You mean that creepy mech that nobody is allowed to go near? Yeah. Rumor has it there is an ether amplifier on board. The scanners can't make sense of it. That's impossible. I thought that you could only fit those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something weird like that? <laughs> well, whatever it is, I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. We want... Do you want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. No, no way. You and and that thing, it all gives me the creeps. I don't understand any of this stuff. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrol. Knowing that the other gray mechs are locked with alarms, the mother concludes that the mech they spoke of is their only chance to escape this region. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent, staring vacantly at the wall since they arrived. She wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. My friends, this way. <laughs> and here we are. So many mechs. Once oh. again. Un pier oh, oh. The beginning of the end. Dude, I found us. Beginning of the end. You don't know who that. Is. I don't know who that is. I don't know what you. Doing over there. I forgot this apart before this part. <laughs> Unless you feel there's something you're missing, which perhaps you may be right about. Why do you always have to be creepy in those corners? I know I'm missing something. I don't want to build this. There, it stands alone. The air is thick around, drowning out. Sound and somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance. If there's anyone up there, please help me. No. I can do this, the mother thinks to herself. It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her, but the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to her eye level and whispers in frustration that they need to fly to where daddy is. The daughter backs away from her and the mech. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We, we have to go now. No. It's the pilot in the dream, Mama. We need to wait for the pilot, the daughter says, louder, as she backs away again. Angel, please, they are going to see us. I am the pilot, and we are going to fly this to where Daddy went. Get in now, please. No, 
We will be safe if we go to sleep. The daughter says louder, starting to cry. Stop, please, Angel. Calm down. She pleads with her right arm outstretched. I don't want to go in there again, Mama. I don't want to go in there again, the child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring and the daughter panics, running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us, she says over and over before fainting into her mother's arms. Angel, Angel, the mother pats her daughter's face gently. The sirens continue to blare. Soldiers are making their way down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face and then over to the pitch black void of the magenta mech's cockpit. My friends, listen carefully. You have a choice to make. There's two options. Stand next to the magenta mech if you wish to stay awake with the mother. I'm going with the mech. Stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trey Jim, if you wish to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare. Make your choice. I'll be with the mech. Good luck. I don't know why, but it's just the iron piece of glass. Ah, shit. Seriously, that's just On this side, we use the items that we got earlier. Yeah. Ah, we win. Someone knew a password. Good luck on the other side. Password. Uh, well, let me... Let me... Uh, like... So why did the daughter have a good... Uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Four eight seven three three six. Four eight seven three three six. Try that. We're at the final point where they could have escaped. Okay, because that'll help them. Because we didn't know that when I did that inside the first time. Right. I have a feeling that password won't work. It's just the one that I had on me at the moment. Yeah. Better have something to attempt. Yeah. Because we didn't. We were just like, I don't know, one. She wants to go into a nightmare. I really like this guy box in these worlds. Yes. In VR, it's. Yeah. Who in the spinny? Four eight seven three three six. Wants to go into a nightmare. Four eight seven three three six. Four eight seven three three six. That probably won't work, that? but my um the Lexus identification. That's his ID number. <laughs> There's a zero in front of it too. Oh, whatever. It's fine. At least uh, it's something to try. <laughs> Oh, it's so horribly pixelated. No. I can't read any of it. Right. Sad. Yeah, you're right. I, I can't read oh, pixels. Just to know to you anymore. Find out what you I don't think anyone can. You dare be higher than you. Hold up. Mortal. Um. <laughs> My friends, fellow travelers, please gather round and listen carefully. And the story continues. I, Trajan, will be your guide through the dark, and Mother will protect us while we descend into this final nightmare. Why does Max seem so cool? Please use the blue save point and wait for me the mother on the other side. Secures the passenger seatbelt around the daughter. She brings herself in the pilot seat. Final. And notices there are no movement controls.
My friends, please click the yellow safe. You excited to see like this? Hey, you're a boss. <laughs> what if we say the J word? <laughs> Those floors aren't doing wonders for my motion sickness. Oh boy. <laughs> no, so I'm just joking. I am kind of a lot of voices. Does that help? My second floor is now all you see is my <laughs> Here's the victory, lad. <laughs> Look down in the tree. The unknown figure jolts awake with awareness. As if they had just fallen from up high. The undulating void around them is giving off voices. The figure listens closely. A slow and faint heartbeat echoes between the scrambled words. They can't make sense of the sounds at all, but it feels somehow meaningful, important. That's her. No, my. The figure speaks aloud, interrupting the sounds, but stops and moves toward the noises. Follow me. Chilling. I like these floors. These are nice. Yeah, <laughs> don't make you feel like you're moving when you're not. Welcome to wrestling. I want more stairs. A monumental tree stands tall in the void. There is a warm air of absolute around it. Something unfathomable. Something unifying the voices in the dark. The heartbeat is coming from this tree. This is mine. This was made for me. It was always made for me. The figure says. But where? Where are the wings? What? Suddenly, the air goes cold. The void quakes and bubbles up with tar and drips down the tree and an image slowly emerges, reflecting off the black substance. A blood moon. That's a good sign. Through every dream, every story, every secret and whisper, I will hunt you, and I will take back what is mine. I will devour your soul while your friends watch. Travelers, I know you're there. Face me. Face me and fight. Fight for your pilot's soul. Oh shit. <laughs> Embrace the end. Okay, now we need to time in. Don't laugh at me, I heard that. Suddenly a tremendous <laughs> figure erupts from the <laughs> shredding the very air into pieces. From out of the nightmarish abyss, a shadow of tremendous size creeps like a spider. Determination. It pulls its heavy carapace burdened with great spines of colorless crystal. 
its face is naught but a moor, with three jaws, a single gleaming eye inside its gullet. Crowning its mouth is a heart, shimmering with all the colours held hostage by the monster. The abomination observes the figure standing in the middle of this nightmare, and the dream devourer readies to attack. The figure realises they have items on them, and they quickly look over what they have. My friends, due to the choices made from earlier, the following occurs. The infused dagger becomes a bayonet, a melee weapon somehow familiar to the figure. Althena's rememberizer becomes a shining sun shard, its dazzling light blinding to behold. The holy shield is fading, regenerating from the previous narrative, it is reduced to a pile of dust. What? Too happy. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> you have two options in combat. Attack and stagger. The Dream Devourer rears back, its spines bristling, its carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. Does the figure attack or stagger? I don't even know what stagger does, uh, so I am. Uh, well, probably one, attack. considering that it's a shard of light. When it wants we to... Well, that the now. spines yeah, are just... already coming at us. Usually we would defend here. I don't think we're getting out of taking damage here, so I say attack. Head empty. Yeah. yeah. Attack. Go for it. Which, when, when it rains hellfire, we should try stagger. Oh, there's nothing going on in my head. Uh, yeah, because it crumbled the dust there. Thank you. Ah. Your help is greatly appreciated. Bruh. <laughs> but the shards are already on our way to us. Not sure if we can stagger those. I'm hearing that the Grib doesn't think there is a choice, but they want to attack anyway. For glory. <laughs> Very well. We would defend, but our shield's gone. So what <laughs> options do we really have? Not really any good. The figure ones. will not stand there and take it. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer. But the needles are faster than they, and they are impaled by the projectiles, taking one damage. I don't know, what could we have done? <laughs> the Dream Devourer rumbles and opens its mouth, and inside is a light. A burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching Hellfire up into the sky ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. Attack or stagger? Attack. 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 Okay, if we survive this next one, I think we should try to stagger afterwards. Salt. For now, I want to- Attack. attack. Your attack. What is told? The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer in an angle, aiming for the glowing opening of the mouth. The attack strikes true. As the blade sinks into its gullet, it lets out a gargle and the figure leaps back to safety. The Dream Devourer takes one damage. Yes. The Dream Devourer shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell shuts, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. Attack or stagger. 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 I don't remember. Moves like Stagger. I got the moves the like Stagger. The takes out the sunshine and holds it forth, <laughs> directing its radiant light toward the Dream Devourer. <laughs> the monster appears unaffected. That's fine. The Dream Devourer rumbles and opens its mouth, and inside is a light, a burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching Hellfire up into the sky, ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. Attack or stagger. Attack. 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 
Good sack. It sounds similar to last time, so... The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer at an angle, aiming for the glowing opening of the mouth. The attack strikes true as the blade sinks into its gullet. It lets out a gargle and the figure leaps back to safety. The Dream Devourer takes another point of damage. Ayo. The Dream Devourer rears back, spines bristling, its carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. Attack or stagger? Again? Attack. Can we try stagger? Stagger. Stagger. Oh, stagger. Oh, stagger. 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 Stagger.
I love when of they add its spin. It back, makes it so its much spines better. bristling, its carapace crunching. And with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel, attack, or oh. stagger. Oh, that sounds attack. familiar. Well, um, can we choose dodge? Darn. Oh, no. Something. That's cool. No? Why not? Yeah, standing there and doing guess. nothing is an option. Why are we doing that? That's the only thing we haven't tried yet. Can we leap out of the way? Alright, hear me. Dream Devourer is going to expect us to be dodging and shit, so he's going to shoot the spines, expecting us to be moving. We're just standing there, his spines come towards us, deep out of the scene. Take him out. I don't know. Stand true. Stand strong, man. <laughs> She's like, the wall will hold. <laughs> My friends, I here do nothing. Open parenthesis. Tipos, close parenthesis. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think so. Affirmative. Why yes. Affirmative. Affirmative. <laughs> We're gonna get hit. Tipos. <laughs> I'd love to see everyone. The figure stands in place, planting their feet firmly on the ground, back straight, face forward, arms out at right angles. The needles come quickly, and the figure is crucified. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, God. God. oh no! Oh, my God. Well, I just had such a bad night in my head. Jesus Christ! Oh, wow. Figure oh, oh my God! God. What? I just had such a horrible image of the guy stabbed right through. Head up. <laughs> oh my god! My friends, my friends, the story continues. Your attention, please. <laughs> oh, thank god. <laughs> Despite losing the battle, that's right, friends. Losing definition. The body of the figure begins to spill apart into smoke. Their voice dispersing, and the figure speaks their final word. No, this, this isn't how the legend ends. I was so close. I have to find it. I have to say. I have a feeling there's gonna be a face through your All that's left is the sound of a slow, muffled heartbeat, gently fading to silence. It's time to wake up from this nightmare and see what reality exists beyond. This way, friends. Hmm, I've heard something might have happened. Bring that so next not... Ah, that was Athena's so rememberizer. Out why the holy shield that yeah. was taken away this time. It's tricky. I, I believe it's the same, the same item multiple times in a row. Yeah, that's, that's, that's new. Oh, okay. So, that is it's not going to take it away from us because shield. if we took it Maybe too the many times ago. Oh. We probably should have taken the... The, the whole shield, shield just said... More than yeah. one shield item, So we have to learn the alternative. And more than one weapon item, mm -hmm. as you know. Yeah. Oh. So we're just going to have to keep... We're just going to have to rotate out. So, yeah, so next time, thanks, man, if we take weapons. We need to find a new weapon. Yeah, the red thing treasure map turns into another dagger. 
Yeah, it works. Okay, good. And the red thing. So we have another weapon and another shield. We just yep. need to bring that sun item one more time, and we'll have to pick a new one. And yeah, the pilot so shield. So it's um, good to have the other options. 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 Other and which was awesome, but then we couldn't go after that. We just don't have the right item to go with it. Yeah. So what's the next? Is that are we still going to do it again, or are they going to take a break? Uh, we're waiting on these guys to come out of their section, and then we're going to meet back up. And I believe that's the end of the tour. Survives. Oh, okay. So next time, right? Yeah. So ne next time we'll choose a different item and try something new. So we have to find what I items we're going to work yeah. against certain turns in the Yo. boss fight as well. So it's a lot of going back through and like, Yo. it's like, it's like a time loop thing, except time actually moves forward okay. in real life. Yep. All right, I got, I got to peace out for now. So check it out on someone else. You're Trajan Jim. It. Yep. Trajan Jim. I disagree. Your army shrinks, misfits. Contrary, Jim. Yes. And now you're falling on top of that. What a shame. Are these pets? Yes. What hazardous looking tools you possess. Very well. well. All the better to pet you with. Hazardous that seem to enjoy it more so. a very questionable so. statement equalization. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be pet by a sloth, for example. They may be slow, but those claws... Well, they should um, speak for themselves. What about a furred dragon Pokemon? There's basically a sloth with extra steps. <laughs> but I'm not moving so slowly. <laughs> that is one of the steps. Literally extra steps. I'm not going to pet you anymore, mortal. <laughs> hey, Quite the contrary. By the sounds of it. Quite the contrary. Another point. Well made. Okay, now the rad misfit is petting you. There should be space on the top of my head for multiple pets. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean fleas. Who would have a flea as a pet? You never heard surprised. of the flea circus. Oh, <laughs> Technically, you can attempt to keep anything as a pet. You like Pokemon. As... <laughs> how legal it is and how safe it is are different questions. Oh, uh, it seems it's they have finished, pets. friends. Pets. I used to have a pet too. Whoa, oh, they're back. You changed Gundam <laughs> models. What happened? I once Did had the other one you had get destroyed. Pet. Yeah. It lasted a day. I am seeing bad we'll news see you at the end. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> You're not right. <laughs> no, we did not win. <laughs> no, what the fuck? We died while T posing. Why not? We very no. much did not win. <laughs> That's not very substantial <laughs> nutrition. My mag. I mean, we came Boop close detected. this time. We were able to actually attack. But the holy shield dissipated, so we couldn't defend. Well, I'm going to throw an item. A bit of a problem. <laughs> it was a stun. It turned to move. Wow, the holy mm -hmm. shield dissipated but twice? Dark. No way. 
No, a stun. It worked. This is the only time it's it did something yeah. that helped. You're floating off the ground. This is why you're taller than me, Eclipse. Are you sure? There's a point where there's a point 100%. where the boss charges up an attack, but Bro, if we so use the stagger short? effect, it stops the attack. Oh my gosh, you were so far off the ground. <laughs> That's so, better. What we, we need, need to, to do is just find... We need to find a shield that doesn't. We can use Althena's rememberizer one more time before it goes into cooldown. You can't use two. I you can't use an item twice. Dearest row, friends, the story stay. concludes. My friends, the story concludes. Concludes. Is that gonna go cool? The ending. Listen carefully. Oh. The grand finale awaits. The daughter opens her eyes slowly. The nightmare has left her head heavy and her mind in a fog. She hangs high sideways in the passenger seat, suspended by the belt. She calls for her mother and struggles to unbuckle herself, but freezes when she sees the nightmare come true in the sky. Far above, where the wrecked magenta mech lies, the black clouds part and the dark monument airship shows itself. Its monstrous form grows like a void swallowing the world. Bolts of fire begin to drop everywhere, filling the sky with red. The daughter, unable to free herself, Wishes none of this ever happened. She wishes her whole life was just a bad dream. She wishes she was safe with her mother. She shuts her eyes tight and wishes for a place no monsters could ever find. The magenta mac vanishes in the flames. Please use the cold save point. Oh, that's new. Now the leg's de detached. <sighs> Is that new? No, I remember the only thing that came it, up was the it arm. It feels new. It feels new. <laughs> I remember feels it was on. Yeah, there was a leg here. Glitch for... Oh, yeah. I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, wait. wait its head is still attached. There's a leg torn off of... yeah. My flames aren't reigniting it. This is different than the last time we had a cold ending. Or a cold save point. It's no use. Flames My friend, the story continues. Netherworldly tree sits bathed under shifting blue light. The girl opens her eyes and is finally not met with fire, but complete silence. She manages to unbuckle her seatbelt and crawls over to the pilot seat. Mama, 
she speaks meekly. Mama, wake up. The little girl crawls into her mother's lap and holds her limp body tight. But there's no response. Mama. Mama, wake up. Mama? She weeps for an answer. But no one would hear her cries. Not here. Beneath this ocean distortion. Not ever. Welcome to the neutral ending of the pilot. Damn it. Damn it. Once again. <laughs> Look, 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 look. Oh, God, but great every time. Damn it! You fought well, mother. <sighs> time to hurt your soul. Can't wait to see how bad the know where to begin for the bad ending. <laughs> <laughs> hope we never get there. I hope we don't. Yeah, we'll probably hit it once. At least. We never got the painter bad but, ending. I mean, how much worse could it get? Huh? Don't ask. Oh, oh, I'm dead. No, it's not in the bad <laughs> Of course, there's a bad ending. No, the duck. Neutral. I imagine the bad ending is the mother dies, daughter gets kidnapped, and experimented on. To the worm, or to the bronze snake that is called the bad ending by Sheen. Who oh, is it? Yeah. Might as well be. What? Hmm. I don't remember that it was called the bad ending. Hmm. You know what the worst ending is? The ending where is where you never go on the tour. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Never. The ending where it's a different timeline where oh, VR no. travelers doesn't exist. The sad Ooh. timeline, bro. Never speak of that. Once again, one. I failed as a mobile suit. <laughs> I failed. That's all she wrote. As a legendary. My friends, listen carefully. Did the song just restart? Oh, oh, mm -hmm. well. yeah, Perhaps. it did. I believe so. Uh, this is a somber situation, so. Well, enjoy the song because it's very sad. <laughs> You're being very depressed. It's not the longest sad song. And it's custom made just for VR Traveler. Did you know that? Wait, really? So this no. Is a special service. <laughs> was, was that just some VR Traveler's trivia there? It was. Hopefully it's copyright free. I've gotten more than what I paid for. Copyright. My friends, my friends, a few announcements before you leave. Please give me your attention. We are VR Travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. And I can't stress enough how much wholesome team effort goes into behind the scenes. In our Discord, you see us meeting in the fourth dimension every now and then. But you have no idea how much we're doing with each other behind the scenes. I thank all of existence for knowing Rendizo and Trey Jim. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be who I am speaking to you. Oh, this sad song doesn't match what I'm speaking about. But trust me, my friends. <laughs> Your support has enabled all of this to be here for what you're hearing and seeing and visualizing in a narrative below and above to where we currently are. Do you know what fan fiction is? It's a narrative below the narrative that you appreciate. You wouldn't have fan fiction if you didn't have the original story. 
and thus we would have our friendships without the original friendships above them. Does that make sense? Anyway. Yes. My friends, we are VR Travelers, and we have a Patreon. If you join our Patreon, it is only $3 per month. We do have more tiers, but joining our Patreon grants you access to play the NPCs, just like you experienced tonight of the Dream Eaters. Joining our Patreon also grants you access to some of the secret channels in Discord, and some of the weird stuff that we have posted on the Patreon, as well as access to the CWT, the Community Written Tour, which is a writing project, which will become a tour, which will the tour guides will perform once it's complete. My friends, we do ask one thing in return, at least, Besides joining our Patreon, is that you join our Discord, which is free. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat, as well as Trajan's status. Check our status to join the Discord, and there you will find notifications on how to solve our tours and get better endings, and how to receive notifications of our future events. Well, friends, that's all I have to say for tonight. I'll open a portal to the after party, to the rendezvous, in a few minutes from now. But for now, I would like you all to walk around this area and talk to each other about how to get the good ending to the pilot. And we don't want to forget about a good old group photo. Then we should find a unique oh, well, spot for the genius. group photo this time. That is what I do on Saturday. This is a... I, the same. <laughs> I think this has been multiple group photos at this point, so we need a unique spot. The tent has already been used. Oh, yes. Beside the mother's Maybe grave. the house at the beginning. Wait a minute, so... Oh, stretch. The one that would burn to a crisp? Yeah. Well, we can go to the non-burn one. You just have to ba enter back in the balcony. Time. I know many people. Yeah. Wait, that's how we just like, We just have to click the respawn no and then just walk out. <laughs> reverse. Well, I'm pretty just sure the daughter's oh, wish is never to happen. Hot. Reverse is time and bake. I thought you had a thing again. I thought you had a thing on your face. Intriguing, like possibly cool idea. A VR traveler's here. quiz. Might get a little extra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah work. Hey, like, see how well people have been paying attention to each tour from past seasons. Oh, you see it to go? Oh, you see it to go? Yeah. Or current seasons. It works okay. and doesn't work, well, depending on the who we enjoy this tour. to join. I wasn't able to go on the last couple of them. Yo, see you later, man. I thought it was a mm. yeah, 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 yeah. It's not my fault I have What's your idea, Frog? If you were just yeah, made a very veiny frog. Veiny frog. What is your idea, so What you got? Ah, well, tonight.